What is up YouTube? Welcome to Man vs. VR and today is the day we finally get to unbox our Oculus Touch. Now I've been stuck at work all day, came home, ate dinner, and you know, spent time with the family, and now it is time to finally unbox this bad boy. So what this was basically was a Christmas present that I'm getting early, which is pretty sweet, so it's wrapped, which I'm totally cool with. As you see, it's got this nice little plaid wrapping paper right there. Yep, pretty sweet. 10 out of 10 on wrapping paper, but let's go ahead and open this bad boy up, and oh, this is like the greatest thing ever. Oh yeah, look at that sexy box right there. It's just as sexy as the Oculus box. Oh man. Slide that off, and it leaves you with a, a black box, just like on the Oculus, which... You guys already probably know, but this opens up, and right in there you just have Oculus Touch chilling, right? Look at that. Look at that sexiness. Oh, man. I can't wait to see this. All right. So, first thing I want to do is pull out the controllers because, oh, my gosh. So cool. All right. So, this one in this hand, this one in this hand. Now, I thought there was something about, like, a magnet in these. Did they get rid of the magnet idea? Is that gone? I don't know. I remember reading something about there being a magnet, and they would, like, stay there. But it doesn't look to be doesn't look to be so. Okay. So, one thing I love about these controllers over the Vive is just the analog sticks. You know, I mean, growing up, I've always had these. Now, granted, I do really like the touch pads on the HTC Vive controller, but I do also really like the analog sticks too. And the buttons on these are just so smooth. But one thing I like about the Vive is it has like the push-in function, but then there's also that click function towards the end. So you can kind of squeeze in two different functions in there, which is fine because this just has capacitive touch and then trigger. So you kind of get your two functions without even having to click. And then there's, of course, the top pad as well, which has the A, B, X, Y on there. And then you've got your Oculus and your menu button. Oh, man, these look so sweet. And they, they feel just like I remember, which is great. And as you see, they're not that big. They're about the same size of, like, the grips on an Xbox controller, it feels like, which I'll be doing a comparison here towards the end to show you guys, you know, the controller comparisons. But, man... Let's go ahead and pull everything else out of the box. So we've also got our second camera right there. So as you see, we've got the second camera. And hopefully this came with a USB extension or else I'm going to have a bit of trouble setting this up today. There's also a little box here that says touch. Well, I'm touching it and nothing's happening. It's like, I know, I know, I know. You just got to pull this little thing out, but it's kind of, oops, I'm ripping the box. I'm ripping the box. No. Oh no, there we go, there we go. Okay, so in here is, is that a dock? What is this? Rock Band, oh my goodness. It's the Rock Band hookup. Oh, this is actually one of the main reasons I bought Oculus Touch in Oculus was for Rock Band, because you're not, you're not putting a Vive controller in there and it working, I'm pretty sure. And they give me batteries. That is another thing that I'm not looking forward to about Oculus Touch is the fact that it uses batteries. But, you know, we'll see how the battery life is. Hopefully it's a good battery life. Um, I do not see, I do not see an extra extension cord on this at all. So I might be able to squeeze something into this and play in my normal play area. We'll see, we'll find out here in a couple seconds when I get it all hooked up. All right, fair warning, I'm absolutely terrible at this game, but I want you to try your best. Are you ready? Always. Let's do this. I feel like I was born to play this game, even though I suck at it. <laughs> yes! Oh, no. Oh, I thought I punched it, but I didn't. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! By the way, forewarned, I get a lot of out of bounds, so. Oh, I didn't catch that. Alright, here we go, here we go. Two points. 
Yes! Oh, God. Oh, back at ya. Nice catch, nice catch. I punched it, but Ooh. nothing happened. Two points. I'm going right out of the way of that one. Fuck. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Two points. Nope. Denied. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Baked ya, baked ya. Oh no, I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. <clears throat> right across. Oh, nice catch, nice catch. Oh, oh, oh. I thought I caught that. Yes! Oh. Here we go, here we go. Which way's it going? <laughs> One more point and I win. Let's go. High five, dude. Other side. All right, so I just want to start off by saying what an awesome game. Oh my god, like it's literally like I thought it was. It's the Pong of VR. But the thing is, is it's so much fun and they did so well. Now, there are a few things I have some gripes with and I only showed one gameplay, but I ended up playing this game for a couple hours. Now, I mean, no joke, I played it for a couple hours and I had an absolute blast. Don't get me wrong, there were times where I was like, you know what, I want to stop, but my favorite part of it all was the social engagement. You're just sitting there conversating with someone as you're casually just basically throwing a frisbee trying to get it past them. It's amazing. Some of the gripes I have with the game are obviously going to catch it and it doesn't catch it and you know you're like right there in the right position and everything and it just goes right through you. Now that could be a lot of factors, that could be connection based, there's just so many things that come into play when it comes to something like that. Same with the punching, there were times where I'd go to punch it and it would just go right through my fist and stuff like that. It's just so many factors, it could be connection, it could just be bad timing on my part, you know, who knows, but I could definitely see myself getting better the more I played and it was really cool because I basically went from not being able to catch it at all to me and one guy were basically just combo after combo after combo after combo. It was, it was insane. Like we had the biggest chain going I've ever seen and it was awesome. It was just so exhilarating and so fun and so immersive too because the way you lean. Now that's another thing I, I, I do want to discuss. The leaning when you first get in there, it's like super duper sensitive. I mean you like barely tilt and you're like boom, boom. But you kind of learn how to work it in your favor. And I really like the whole you know, idea of the ricochet or we can just go straight forward. A lot of times it's just more fun to go straight forward because it gives the enemy a better chance. But at times you're kind of like, hey, let's make this interesting and let's do bounces only and see where it goes. And it gets really, really fun and really intense as long as the catching mechanism works. But enough about the game, guys. It's rather enjoyable. I definitely recommend it. And I will be trying it on the Vibe to see how it works. And if it does work, I will definitely, I got a little secret project I want to do with it. But anyway, guys, moving on, I want to talk about these controllers. Now, these controllers are absolutely amazing. And I just say that because it just fixes the Oculus. The Oculus just seemed so boring for the week I had it. I'm not going to lie. It was like playing on a specialized Gear VR. Now that I have these, the Oculus is absolutely amazing. Now... I will say this, compared to the Vive controller, there's not much difference aside from the capacitive touch. I mean, the same buttons are pretty much there. You've got your analog stick, which is obviously, you know, the preferred method I have over trackpad, but the trackpad still works, so I'm not against it either. But, one thing I like is, you know, the capacitive touch features, that's cool, that's cool. But I also like the size of the grip. The grip basically is around the same size as an Xbox controller. Let me hold it on the right side and show you guys this. So as you see, it's pretty much the same size. It's not the same thickness, but it feels very, very natural like a gaming controller. But at the same time, when you're making like fists and stuff like that and you're holding things, it also feels very natural. Now I've only played a couple games with this, so I don't know 100%. 
how natural it feels, but everything I've played so far, it feels really, really good. Especially in a rip coil. But, I will say this. While these are good controllers, and they're really, really good, and, you know, they definitely raised the bar for, you know, motion controllers in VR, they didn't raise it like, it's not like, here's Vive, and then all the way up here is Oculus Touch. It's not like that at all. It's more like, here's your Vive, and here's, here's your Touch, yeah. Here's your Touch. So it's not... A substantial you know difference it's really not it's just the capacitive touch features all it is and you know will this be something that's utilized here in the future who knows is it gonna be something that vibe picks up I'm sure it will because it definitely adds a next level immersion to the game but it's not a necessity I will say in a sense one thing I just can't wait to do is I can't wait to play a game with locomotion while using the analog sticks I've yet to do that and I'm really looking forward to doing it and I really hope it's as good as I think it's going to be. I have not really, you know, had the chance to do it. So I haven't found any games that have local motion currently um, on Oculus. But I haven't tried everything I got either. So, you know, we still got a ways to go to get there. But when I do, I'm pretty sure I'm going to wig the freak out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And also, if you're new to the channel... Be sure to subscribe because i got a lot of awesome Oculus Vive and other VR stuff coming for you guys here soon. PSVR is going to be making a big scene here soon again with some releases next month. So we will be looking forward to that as well. So thank you guys so much again. I'm out of here. Peace.